Let's try it this way. You gotta go old school. Come on in again, everybody. Come on in again. I apologize, everybody. Modern technology, modern technology. All right, if you can see me, hear me, just give me some hearts and let me know that y'all can see and hear. With somebody, uh, put a message out or, or something that we had to start over. <laughs> thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Lord have mercy. Okay. I'll tell you what, as much as I pay for internet, it seems like it ought to do better than this here. But we're going to thank God anyhow. All right, come on in, y'all. Give everybody a chance to come back in. Thank y'all for being patient. Come on in, everybody. What's up, Greg? How you doing, man? Good morning, Miss Sherry. Good morning, Miss Nikki. Welcome back, bro, Ralph. Bro, Leon, good morning. Miss Glenda, good morning. Amen. Thank you, Kimberly. Good morning, Lois. <laughs> All right, London. Miss Monique, good morning. All right. Good morning, Cousin Jessica. Trying to get it, Miss Florence, good morning. Trying to get everybody else a chance to come back in. Good morning, Betty. That's right, good morning again. <laughs> Man. All right.
I think all the lines was just crossed up this morning. Uh, I understand First Baptist, you all had some problems with the Sunday school call this morning. Good morning, Miss Jean. Patricia, good morning. All right. Appreciate that, Rev. Good morning, Judge Graham. Still trying to let a few more people get in. I, I lost a lot of people. Thank y'all for being patient. Let's pray once again. Lord, we thank you again for all your many blessings. Thank you again, Lord, for all that you've done. Lord, we thank you for, again, another Sunday morning you've allowed us to see. And God, we just pray, God, your word today will take residence in our heart. God, we bind the enemy now, God, that's trying to dis dis disrupt and just cause chaos with these, this internet and with, with all that's going on. God, we bind the enemy now, God, that, that we can hear this word without no problems whatsoever. God, somebody need this word on today. I need this word. And so, God, we bind any distraction, any hindrance right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for every person on this phone, on this live weather. And, Lord, I just pray that you keep them covered. And, Lord, I just pray, God, that you would again till the soil of our hearts, that your word may fall on good ground that it may bring forth a harvest, God, that we may not be hearers only, but be doers as well. I pray, God, that you would bless those that are sick, those that are dealing with whatever sickness that may be going on, those recovering from surgery. God, we pray total restoration. And God, bless us, God, as we spend time together today in your word, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, everybody. Those that's coming in, uh, make sure that you can hear me, see me. And uh, those that's coming in, good morning, good morning, good morning. God sent his son. They call him Jesus. He came to love. Heal and forgive, he bled and died to buy my pardon and empty grave is there to prove my Savior he lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know. my future and life is worth the living just because he lives God sent his son come on somebody they call him Jesus he came to love, heal and forgive. He bled and he died to buy my pardon. And empty grave 
is there to prove my Savior, he lives. Come on, somebody. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know he holds my future. Somebody type this. And life is worth the living just because he lives. One more time. Because he lives. I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know he holds my future and life is worth the living just because he lives. Amen. Life is worth the living just because he lives. And because God lives, we can face our tomorrow. As a matter of fact, because he lives, we can face our present. Amen, somebody? Amen, amen. Let's, let's get into this word right quick. Uh, again, good morning to everybody just coming in. We love you. We thank you for being a part of our ministry and uh, definitely praying that God will bless you today as we go into his word. For those that have a Bible book or what have you, we, we want to use Hebrews chapter 11. And verse eight, <clears throat> and I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse eight. Somebody type that on the screen. Hebrews chapter 11, verse eight. And I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. <clears throat> and it says... It was by faith that Abraham obeyed God, obeyed when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him as his inheritance. <clears throat> he went without knowing where he was going. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8. It was by faith. Amen that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him as an, as an inheritance. He went without knowing where he was going. What I want to talk about this morning is from the thought, a crazy faith that makes a whole lot of sense. Amen, somebody. A crazy faith that makes a, a whole lot of sense. Somebody type that in. A crazy faith that makes a whole lot of sense. Amen. Amen. Well, the question is, how do you maintain a healthy mind, a healthy spirit, when the world around you is so crazy? Lord, I'm preaching already. It's not an easy task that's for, that's for sure. But the daily struggle for every believer <clears throat> is to maintain a balance in an unstable world. <clears throat> what gives us a sense of sanity in such crazy situations is a healthy Christ-centered spirituality. Amen. That helps us to balance the craziness of this world with the assurance of the kingdom of God. 
without a godly presence, this world can seem hopelessly crazy. Amen, somebody. Amen. Let, let's, let's just be honest. This is a crazy world. Amen. This is a crazy world. How do I know it's crazy? Watch this. Our country will spend a hundred billion dollars or more to bomb a country and destroy all of its infrastructure and then turn around and spend 150 billion to rebuild what they tore down. Y'all ain't talking to me. That's crazy. Amen. It's crazy <clears throat> that a child, a poor child, stay with me, y'all, stands in a lunch line in school. He has on $200 pair of shoes, a $100 pair of pants, $400 gold chain around his neck, got diamonds in both ears and a thousand dollars worth of gold in his mouth. And what's, and what makes that crazy is he eating free lunch. Y'all ain't talking to me. That's crazy. It's crazy that even now churches have, have to have uh, armed guards and schools got to have metal detectors, law enforcement profiles, anyone, Lord have mercy, that's a person of color. Y'all ain't talking to me. We are living in dangerous, crazy time. It, it's a crazy world. Now, when you go outside, you got to have a mask on. Amen. You can't hug. You, you can't shake hands. You can't gather with families like you want to. Yet yeah, we're, we're living in crazy times. My brothers and sisters, such time, in such time, it's really, it really challenges our mental stability. Believers watch this struggle hard every day to overcome our obsession with these crazy situations because we see craziness around us all the time. Y'all talk to me. And if we're not careful, somebody, we can worry so much about the stuff that's going on around us that it'll make us crazy uh, with grief and make us suffer with, with pain. Y'all ain't talking to me. It's better for us to, it, it, it's, it's better when each of us is able to consider the circumstances of life from the context of being a child of God. And when we are a child of God, in spite of all the craziness that's going on by, around us, we can say these where all is well because God is in control. Somebody ought to shout right there. In spite of all the craziness that's going on by, around us, we can shout today knowing that God is in control. Somebody ought to type that today and, tell, and make a declaration in spite of all that's going on. God is in control. Control. Just type it. God is in control. He's in control in spite of what, what the world may, may say, in spite of this pandemic, in spite of all that's going on in this craziness of this world. We can testify that God is in control. Amen, somebody. So as believers, we, we see the craziness in the world, but watch this. We are not overwhelmed by it because we know the Lord. Amen. And knowing God gives us a sense of balance. It gives us spiritual strength and it gives us mental stability. Come on, somebody. Amen. To, to even say that in spite of the craziness that life brings, that life brings, we know a God that makes meaning out of crazy things and gives us peace. Come on, somebody. Amen. We ought to thank God today that he can give us peace that surpasses all understanding. As we get into the text today, uh, the text says that it was by faith. Come on, somebody. That Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him as an inheritance. And the text says he went without knowing where he going. He's going. That's crazy, right? It makes no sense to a man, but it makes perfect sense to God. Watch it. He went without knowing where he was going. Lord have mercy. It might sound crazy, but sometimes we are placed in some positions in life and our response become, I don't know where this is going. Come on, somebody. I've said to God, God, I want to go deeper. 
He watch this. And he makes me go through trials. It don't make sense. Y'all going to get it in a minute. Yeah, I, I tell God I want to be stronger. Well, he tells me don't eat going to a fast. Y'all ain't tell, talking to me. I tell God, God, I, I need some money. And he tells me to give. God makes moves that don't make sense. Y'all ain't talking to me in here. Can, can somebody testify Yeah, that, 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 that God has a unique way uh, of bringing us to where we need to be? So, the, so it is with Abraham. We see Abraham making moves that don't make sense. Are y'all on y'all on here with me? When you look back at Abraham in retrospect, he's faithful. But if we would have been with him in real time, Lord have mercy, he would have been crazy. Y'all miss me. Let me say it again. If we would have been, if we, if if when you look at Abraham. And in, in, in retrospect, he's faithful. But if you if we would have been with Abraham in real time, he would have been crazy. Can I pause and preach to a few of y'all right now that in real time, folk think you crazy. But when you look back over this year, come on, somebody, they're going to say you were faithful. Yeah, when, when you've made some moves in real time, they didn't know that you were that, that they didn't know what you were doing. But the truth of the matter is, when you look back over 2020, the folk that called you crazy going to say you had faith because faith cannot be appreciated in real time. Faith can only be valued in retrospect. <sighs> Y'all going to get this in a minute. Y'all going to get it. Y'all going to get it. Again, the text says, the text says it was by faith that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home and to go to another land that God would give. Are y'all on y'all on here with me? Y'all in here with me. Let, let me say it. Let me say it again. The text says it was by faith that Abraham obeyed. When God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him, give. Oh, have mercy. He said, I'm calling you to a place that I would give. Okay. Can we just have a conversation with God, Abraham and God? Okay. Abraham. Hey, God, what's going on? God saying, Hey, Abraham, how you doing? Abraham said, I'm, I'm doing fine. God, what? What you need me to do for you today? God says, Abraham, I want you to take off walking. Abraham said, okay, God, where am I going? God said, I got a land that is your inheritance. I'm about to take you into the promised land. Abraham said, all right, where is it? God said, I'm going to give it to you. Just start walking. Y'all missing me here. The text said that he would. Somebody on here to, on here this morning, just type the word wood, W-O-L-D. Just type the word wood. Come on. Just type the word, word wood. Abraham left home on the wood. Y'all missing me. Y'all missing me. It hasn't happened yet, but God said it would. Y'all like, oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Y'all, y'all come on with me. He left home on the wood. It ain't happened yet. But God said it would. I need somebody to have church with me this morning. It, it, it ain't happened yet, but God said it would. Watch this. Would is future tense conditional verb. Okay. It paints a picture of a promise reaction in response to a initial action. What are you, what is all of this saying? Oh, okay. Would means here it is. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. Oh, my goodness. Wood means I'm going to shout today because I know you're going to do something tomorrow. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Amen. Wood means God, I'm going to shout today because I know tomorrow you're going to do something big. Can I help somebody? The songwriter said this way. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. Y'all ain't talking to me. I need about 10 folks on this feed this morning that can praise God, not on a did, but shout on a wood. 
I, I, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I need about 10, 10 of y'all on here that'll shout this morning and give God a praise, not on a did, but you a shout on a wood. He said, if you be faithful over a few things, he would open up the windows of heaven. He said, if you put God first, he would give you desires of your heart. I'm not shouting on this Sunday morning because I got it. I'm shouting because he would. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Y'all y'all ought to shout with me today. I, I don't see it yet, but God said he would. Are y'all on here with me? I need I need about 10 of y'all that ain't gonna that, that, that won't shout because of what God did, but you'll shout today because of a wood. Lord have mercy. He, he would uh open up the windows, he would supply all of my needs, he would make a way out of no way, he would, Lord have mercy, uh uh make my enemies be my footstool. Can somebody today shout over a wood? I'm almost done, y'all. I'm almost done. Oh, have mercy. Look at the text. Look at the text. I'm excited, y'all. Look at the text. Look at the text. Uh, I, I need y'all to I need y'all to understand this. Uh, it was by faith. Y'all get this. It was by faith that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home. Okay, let, let's look at it again. It was by faith, somebody type faith, somebody type faith, that, that Abraham obeyed, somebody type obeyed, somebody type obeyed, when God called, somebody type called him to leave, type the word leave, and somebody just type home in, 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 in all caps. Y'all got it? It was by faith that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home. That's a, that, that, that enough shows me that Abraham has crazy faith. The, the reason so many people, y'all got to get this, y'all got to get this. The reason so many people are missing God is because it didn't just take faith to leave. It took faith to obey. Lord have mercy. Watch it. Watch it again. Watch it again. The reason so many people are missing God is because it didn't just take faith to leave, but it took faith to obey. Are y'all on here with me? We, we celebrate incomplete testimonies. Watch this. When you're in faith, you feel crazy. And I need everybody uh, whoever trusted God and felt crazy doing it, just type, he preaching to me, he preaching to me. A anybody on here that ever, ever, ever felt, ever felt crazy, uh, that when you, that when you trusted God, it, it felt crazy doing it. Lord have mercy. You see, when you're in faith, you feel crazy. When, when you in faith, you feel kind of stupid. When, when, when you in faith, watch this, you have conversation, conversations with yourself. Have you ever made a faith move so crazy? Watch this, that you are explaining it and, and you're over explaining because you didn't realize how crazy you looked until they came out of your mouth. Lord have mercy. Let me pause. Let me pause. Let me pause. Let me pause. Uh, let, let me share. Let me share. Uh, most of y'all know my story. Uh, Back in 1996, uh, I was drafted by Golden State Warriors. Yeah, that I, I was one of the biggest days of, of my life. Uh, we was at Mama House, and uh, we was watching the draft, and and uh, uh, it came up on the screen. Uh, Golden State has selected Marcus Mann, second round, 40th pick. Everybody in the house uh, going crazy. Uh, I remember Joey, he, he took a gallon of milk, take, took it outside, throwing it everywhere, took water, throwing it everywhere. Uh, yeah, it was it was a big day in the man's household. We everybody was down to, to the house and we was watching the draft and everybody's excited. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, I get a phone call from from uh, Golden State. I go down to my bedroom. They 
talking to me. They congratulated me on uh, being drafted and being selected and uh, told me I'll I receive a package on on, on uh, the, the coming week um, that will have um, uh, uh, Golden State uh, jerseys, T-shirts, uh, socks. Uh, uh, I had uh, 20 something pair of shoes. Um, uh, so it, it was a big moment in, in the man household. And so it uh, came time for me to leave and, uh, and I'm going to uh, San Jose because that's where uh, we was doing training camp. And so I, I noticed that when I got there, I'm, I'm the only one that has made it there. And so uh, one of the coaches came to me and uh, uh, welcomed me to the Bay Area. And uh, he uh, said, Marcus, I want you to get dressed. We, we're going to go do some workouts. So I go, we do some workouts. And finally, the guys and stuff start coming in a couple of days later. And uh, going through the, uh, the training camp, uh, I remember leaving practice one day and uh, uh, I was so tired. I, I laid across the bed and, and, and I went to sleep and, uh, and, and, and I began to dream. And I, there was this big, huge hole and I saw myself falling down the hole and uh, people all around the hole. And I'm reaching, trying to get the people, trying to get their hands, but nobody could grab me. And, and, and I hear a voice and. And it says, nobody can save you but me. And I woke up and I'm like, Lord, what in the world was that? What's going on? And God began to minister to me. God said, Marcus, do you trust me? I said, yeah, God, I trust you. I've trusted you all my life. And uh, he said, uh, do you really trust me? I said, yeah, God, I trust you. Uh, what, 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 is, what is going on with, with me? And God said, if you trust me, leave. I said, leave what, God? God said, if you trust me, leave. I said, God, leave what? what? What do you want me to leave? He said, I want you to walk away from basketball. I said, wait a minute, God, hold up. Wait a minute. I I, I just signed my contract. Uh, I just got a little signing bonus. And God, you mean to tell me that uh, you want me to leave when my dream had come, had, had come true? God said, you trust me, right? I said, yeah, God, I trust you. He said, okay, I want you to leave. He said, I allowed your dreams to come true, but this is not where I want you. And I said, wait a minute, God. Now, me and God is talking just like I'm talking to you. And, and, and we're going through the whole idea. And I said, God, listen, man, I just signed a contract now. You, you're missing me. God said, I know what you just done, but do you trust me? God said, yeah. I said, yes, God, I trust you. He said, in the conversation, leave. So I'm sitting there on the side of the bed. I'm trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to go tell these folks? I'm walking away from basketball. So I go and, and I meet with the with the general manager, Dave Torzik at the time. I said, I said, Dave, I said, man, listen, I appreciate you allowing me to 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 be a part of this team. I appreciate you drafting me. Uh, but that there, there's been a shift in my life. Uh God God wants me to leave. He wants me to walk away. Dave started looking at me and he's smiling and he said, Huh? I said, God, God wants me to leave. And I I said, okay, I'm, I'm leaving. And uh, I go to, to, to Rick Alderman. Rick Alderman is the head coach. And, and God, he, God said, tell him. I said, Rick, I'm coach, uh, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm walking away. Rick said, do you, do you realize what you're doing, son? I, I said, yeah. I said, I got to trust God with this one. And so on the night of the first regular season game, Golden State is playing. I'm on a plane heading back to Mississippi. Uh, I get to Mississippi. And people realize what has happened and people start calling me crazy. Uh, Rob J is on here. I did an interview with Rob J <laughs> and, and Chuck Stinson uh, and, and, and Rob covered my story. And, uh, and, and, and I couldn't walk in the mall or I couldn't walk in Walmart. I couldn't walk anywhere unless people are staring at me, shaking their head and like, you big dummy. Why? You, you, you was at a point where you had, had, had it made and you walked away. Uh, you must have been homesick. Uh, you you must. What, what was it? And I and I and I kept trying to explain. And the more I talked, the more folk didn't even understand. Oh, you could have been a you could have been a preacher and still been in the NBA. And and what they didn't understand was God didn't tell me to stay. He told me to leave. 
And it, it was crazy. It was it, 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 I, I, I left Golden State really on a wood. Y'all going to catch it. Y'all going to catch it. I didn't know where God was taking me, but God knew what he was doing. And I had to trust the process. And I came on here to tell somebody today, it, you, you don't have old people in explanation. Whatever God called you to do and whatever God told you to do, you best to do it. It's a crazy faith, but I can testify today. It made a whole lot of sense. I've been preaching now 20 some years. Hadn't been easy, but I thank God for where I am. I, I don't, I don't have all the luxury, Lord have mercy, that all the NBA players have. But listen, I have have all that I need and that's in God. I had folk that walked off and left me, talked about me, scandalized my name. The Lord have mercy but God blessing me on a wood. Y'all ain't talking to me here. I thank God today that I am where I am and I went through what I went through and watch this when I left God promised me that he was going to always give me a platform to share my story. Can I let y'all in on, on some good news? Y'all stay tuned. My autobiography is on the way. God is getting ready to put my story in a book. Y'all ain't talking to me here. I left God on a wood. And because I trusted God on a wood, he's opening up windows and pouring out blessings. Y'all ain't talking to me here. I thank God that I kept my eyes on him. I'm closing, y'all. I'm closing. I'm closing. I'm closing. Uh, my brothers and sisters, I appreciate y'all being with me today. I know this is this is a little, little longer than we normally be, uh, but I got to close this thing out. Uh, uh, I don't know why I can't leave it, but y'all ought to trust God on the wood. It'll make your life so much easier. And watch this. Watch this. I had somebody not long ago told me and said, Marcus, that couldn't have been me. I would have stayed. I said, that's why God chose me and not you, because he knew I would trust him on the wood. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Y'all, somebody ought to trust God today on the wood. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm closing. I'm closing. Uh, so in this craziness that's going on in the world. Oh, have mercy. I want to recommend to you, and I want you to understand, you need to keep your eyes on Jesus. We're able to overcome the craziness of this world when we're able to keep our eyes on Jesus. That's when we remember that despite difficult times, we can say all is well. In a crazy world, watch this, of discrimination and hatred. Dr. King, watch this, saw Jesus and maintained his dream of a future reality where love and peace would abide. Considering the times in which he lived, yeah, it was crazy. But since he knew the Lord, watch this, it made a whole lot of sense. Have I got a witness here? In the crazy world, of Nazi Germany, a German the a theologian endured two years in a Nazi consecration camp, clinging, watch this, to his belief that God loves everybody. Yeah, considering that he was about to be executed because of his beliefs, it was a crazy position, but he knew the Lord and that made a whole lot of sense. Have I got a witness here? Yes, in this crazy world, believers still maintain, yes, a vibrant hope. Yeah, I'm closing here. Yeah, if you remember, yeah, a man by the name of David. Well, the Bible said that David, yeah, danced near the naked yeah, and that was crazy because David was a king. Have I got a witness here? But considering the blessing he enjoyed, yeah, to him, it made a whole lot of sense. Yes, have I got a witness here? Yeah, on the day of Pentecost, 
Lord have mercy. When the Holy Ghost descended, yeah, folk thought that, yeah, believers were crazy and drunk. Yeah, however, they were not crazy. They was just in the presence of the Lord. Well, and that made a whole lot of sense. Have I got a witness here? It may seem crazy. Watch this to praise God when you're sick. Yeah, but since God is a healer, it's not crazy. It makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, have I got a witness here? It may seem crazy to praise God, yeah, when you don't have a dime in your pocket, huh? But since you know the Lord, Lord have mercy, and the Bible said that the earth is the Lord's uh, and the fullness thereof, huh? Then praising God, yeah, makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, are y'all gonna help me close this thing? Yeah, yeah, it may seem crazy, yeah, to praise God, watch this, when a loved one has passed, yeah, but since Jesus, uh, he promised everlasting life. Uh, yes, uh, then praising God, watch this, yeah, makes a whole uh, lot of sense. Uh, ain't he all right? Uh, it may seem crazy, uh, but yeah, believers, uh, we're able to smile uh, in the midst of troubles. Uh, yeah, uh, and to stand firm uh, in the midst of strong winds uh, because God and priest markers is still on the throne. Uh, it might seem crazy, uh, but it makes uh, a whole lot of sense. Uh, have I got a witness here? Uh, faith uh, in God. Yeah, uh, takes an ugly situation uh, and makes it beautiful. Uh, faith in God uh, finds strength uh, in the middle of weakness. Uh, faith in God uh, finds success uh, in the middle of failure. Preach, Marcus. Uh, faith in God uh, finds Faith uh, in the middle of confusion. Uh, faith in God uh, finds joy uh, in the middle of sadness. Uh, Y'all ain't hipping me. Uh, faith in God uh, finds comfort uh, in the middle of loneliness. Uh, have I got a witness here? Uh, is there anybody on here today? Uh, got faith in God. Uh, I came today to tell you, you know, it might seem crazy. Uh, but it makes a whole lot of sense. Huh? As I leave you today, huh? I'm reminded huh? of a true story huh? of a man huh? by the name of Horatio huh? Spafford huh? who was huh? a successful businessman huh? who suffered huh? extreme huh? financial failure. Huh? His son died huh? and the world huh? Seemed to topple on top of him. Huh? He, see, Lord have mercy here, huh? to take a rest. Huh? He sent his wife huh? and his other children huh? overseas huh? on a boat. Huh? And he promised them huh? that he was going to join them later. Huh? But the ship huh? had a wreck. Lord have mercy. Huh? And his four children, other children huh? died. Huh? along with others huh? as he joined huh, his grieving wife huh? yeah huh? he read his bible huh? and he considered huh, all that had happened to him huh? he looked at the waters huh, that buried his children huh? his whole world huh, had seemed to be destroyed huh? but yet he sat down huh? and he wrote these words huh? When peace, huh, like a river, huh, attended my way, huh, when sorrows, huh, like sea billows roll, huh, whatever my lot. Priest Marcus, huh? thou hast taught me to say, huh? it is well, huh? it is well huh? with my soul. Huh? I don't know how huh? you feel about it, huh? but I can testify huh? in a world of, pan of a pandemic, huh? it is well. Huh? Can somebody type it today? Huh? It is well huh? when storm clouds rise. Huh? It 
is well. When sickness comes, it is well. When folk walk off and leave you, it is well. It is well because Jesus, he went to Calvary. He died. Lord have mercy. He died. I done messed around and got happy, y'all. He died. Can I get a witness here? It might seem crazy. He died. He went in the grave. But early, y'all ought to help me early. Early, early, early. Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hands. Because he lives, I can face my tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know. Uh, who holds my future uh, and life uh, is worth the living uh, because he lives uh, and because he lives uh, I can testify uh, it is well uh, ain't he alright uh, it is well uh, with my soul uh, it may seem crazy uh, but on this Sunday morning uh, I declare uh, I prophesy uh, it is is way uh, I don't know who you are, uh, but you Lord have mercy. God told me to tell you uh, it is way uh, with your soul. Uh, you might have lost somebody, uh, but it is way uh, you might be broke, uh, got no bills to pay bills, uh, but God told me to tell you uh, it is way uh, you might reach a good old age uh, where you feel like uh, God forgot about you. Huh? I came today to tell you how huh? it is well. Huh? David said, huh? I've been young, huh? but now I'm old. Huh? Never seen huh? the righteous forsaken, huh? nor his seed huh? begging for bread. Huh? It is well. Huh? It might seem crazy, y'all, huh? to a lot of folk huh? that don't have faith, huh? but you need to connect with somebody, huh? not faithless people, huh? but faithful people, huh? and testify it is well. Huh? Whatever my lot, huh? God thou has told me to say, it is well. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. It might seem crazy, but it makes a whole lot of sense. By faith, Abraham obeyed. By faith, he left home on a wood. And let me just tell you, God gave, God gave, gave them the promised land. Promised land, E.D. Watch this. It was already given. He just had to walk into it. Lord have mercy. God told me to tell somebody, it's already promised. You just got to walk into it. Oh, Lord, it is well. It is well with my soul. Father, thank you for this word once again. Thank you, Lord, that in these crazy times that we're living in, Lord, let our faith be strong. Don't let it waver. And let us be able to testify it is well. Whatever comes our way, let us have enough faith to say, it is well with my soul. Bless every person on this feed, God. Let them have an awesome day. And God, as we approach another week, let us have an awesome, awesome week. God, I pray that this week be so amazing. God, that we have to step back and just smile and just throw our hands up and just say, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody ought to tell him. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. 
I just want to thank you, Lord. Lord, you made a way. Lord, you made a way. Lord, you made a way. I just want to thank you, Lord. Lord, you brought me out. Lord, you brought me, me out. Lord, you brought me out. I just want to thank you, Lord. Lord, you saved my soul. Lord, you save my, my soul. Lord, you saved my soul. I just want to thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Come on, lift your hands and tell him thank you. Lord, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, you, Lord. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Y'all be encouraged. Listen, go through this week and just say, hey, it is well. Most folk may think you're crazy, but it makes a whole lot of sense. It is well. God bless y'all. Take care.